Okay, new, 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 the new, new. Okay, we have some new products. We have uh, a bunch of new products today. Yeah, we've, we're getting more robotic stuff in. Okay. So, um, this is handy. This is very handy. This is by request from you, and I agree, this is pretty sweet. This is a metal servo horn. Now, when you get a servo, it comes with horns. So, let me just go to the overhead, and I can show it off. So, you get, this is the, the horn itself. So, like, let's say you get your standard servo. It comes with a bunch of horns. These are these things that, you know, they, they, they snap on and you can screw them in and you're like, okay, now I have a wheel and this turns and then you can have a, like an X shape. But there's one thing about these that's not so great. First off, they're kind of small. We wanted something with a little bit more reach and also they're um, plastic and the holes are really small. So this is a nice long, look at how long that is. Wow, that server horn is like twice as long. I don't remember exactly how long this is, it was like 25, uh, 30 millimeters. It uh, has 25 teeth, it's uh, machined aluminum, it's incredibly strong, but very light. Uh, and it's got four tapped holes, five millimeters apart, they're um, M2 screw holes. Um, so it works great with our standard size servos, it won't work with a micro servo or a mini servo. Um, but if you've got these standard uh, chunky servos, the Metal Gear ones, or the um, these standard, you know, SG 5010s, um, Add it on, use the screw that comes with your uh, servo to attach it. Boom, you've got a nice servo arm. Yep. Super sweet. And someone pointed out in the chat, like we're getting into robotics. We absolutely are. The intersection of circuit Python, this here is a Python. Python. Uh, fast iterations. Make code. Drag Make drop, code, drag and drop. Programming. And then. Um, circuit Playground Express has the sensors circuit Playground built in. Express, and then our robotics hardware like Cricket, and then all of the. Uh, personally selected Lady Ada stuff. So there's a lot of robot junk out there, and there's a lot of expensive robot stuff that, you know, you can get a $500 robot arm. We're not going to do that. We're going to do the best robotic stuff, more We're, like construction kits. It's going to be robotics. it's going to be good robotics that doesn't yeah. disappoint you. It won't break your heart. It won't leave you and abandon you. This is robotics that you can actually get something yeah. working with, um, actually build stuff, and feel good and confident about what you've built. So... Moving on. Speaking of, um, we have a, a new pack here. This is the Microbit 10 pack. Now, I'm not going to show it over your head because it's basically just like it's this. It's 10 of the, yeah, it's this. You get 10 battery packs, you get 10 pairs of batteries, 20 batteries total, 10 Microbits, and 10 micro USB cables. Comes in a box like this. It's a club pack. It's basically perfect for uh, classrooms, workshops, camps, whatever, where you want to save a little bit of money and you get a box with all of them in it all at once. Um, yeah, great for great for teachers especially, but any kind of coding club or makerspace can pick these up. You don't have to be an educational uh, or university or school, whatever. Microbit is a great platform. We have um, some cool accessories for it as well, so pick some up to make your Microbit even better. Next up. Okay, this is a updated new product. This is so updated it's pretty much new. This is the Pixie 2 camera. So this is a um, all-in-one smart camera. It's got this like ultra high powered processor in it. It's got the camera of course itself and it's got all these brains in it that let it do stuff so that your microcontroller project doesn't have to. So if you're trying to do visual recognition on like an Arduino Uno or a Feather NR52, you're gonna be a little sad because you just don't have that processing power but the Pixie Cam does it all. So um, the new Pixie 2 can detect lines and intersections and small barcodes to make line falling robots. Um, it has a 60 frame per second frame rate. Um, it has color based object detection, so you can have it follow or tell you where a red or green or pink or blue, whatever color object is. Um, it has libraries for Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and other controllers. Now it has um, a light built in as well. It's basically, you know, you want to make a project with a smart vision system. Don't DIY it. Just grab the Pixie Cam, add it in. Um, I think it does SPI and UART, so you can use it with just about everything, and it just works. And it's uh, it's based off a of CMU Cam. It's a very uh, solid platform for building your vision robot. So we we strongly recommend it. Um, it's a great little camera, okay. and now it's even better. Next up, a battery holder. You may find this familiar looking if you have an AdaBox Eight. This is a three double A battery holder. You can see here, you get three double A's. You put them in there. It gives you a barrel jack. You get about 3.6 to five volts output. Great for 3.3 .3 volt run logic that has a regulator on it, like the Cricut. Um, 
but other things can use this as well. It's just a handy, inexpensive, simple, easy to use battery holder, and that's why we carry it. It's got some Kapton tape on the back even to uh, keep it from shorting out. What a great little battery holder. Okay, and uh, we got a lot of different colors of this neon looking Stuff. Yeah, so this is, we call it neon, but I don't want to make people think it's actually neon. It's, it doesn't no. contain neon gas. It just looks it just, just lo it, looks like it, it looks just like neon. So let me. That's the nightmare of dealing with shipping glass. I have never had a neon project work out. I just, yeah. it's just me. So I'm glad when this came about. So um, it comes in multiple colors. You've got this kind of ice blue color. Um, and this is from the side. You've got yeah. pink. It's a beautiful pink color from the side. You've got a cool white. It's like kind of a bluish white. You've got a warm white, maybe good for lighting. If you want to make custom lamps. Um, we've got this uh, blue. It's a more dark blue than the ice blue. And we've got this nice vivid green. So I'll show you down there the overhead as well. I want to say one thing about these. They're not NeoPixels. I know everyone's going to ask, are they NeoPixels? They're not NeoPixels. They're not NeoPixels. Um, all right, now that we get that out of the way. Now that that's out of the way. Because everyone's like, oh, you know, I wanted a NeoPixel yeah. version. I know you do. We're working on it. Uh, but I want to make sure we get one that doesn't suck because uh, that's how we do it here. So this is the green. Oh, that's right. And I'm just powering it off of, actually, it's a 9-volt adapter. I just have an alligator clips here. So you can see from looking on the side, you can see the little LEDs. It's like 120 LEDs per meter, and they're just plain surface mount LEDs. Um, what's great is how much you can bend this. I mean, this is extremely... Yeah flexible um, and the silicone is very protective you can't dunk it underwater but you can definitely use it for projects that are going to be um, outside you know attached to your bicycle uh, if you're in a burning man this would be an easy thing it's like all the good things about a glow stick but you can use it in art um, in New York City occasionally you'll see like really really high-end luxury stores and they always have kind of a an amazing looking like neon -y sculpture or something just because yeah. there is a game in town to have the best like storefront display thing and this rivals that. Yeah. Like, um, this is. This is good stuff. Yeah. So we we sampled a lot. We've been looking at this. Type totally of like thing. five years. Six yeah, years. five or six years, and like all of it was kind of junk. And then we finally, yeah, we got a big pile on top of We finally got yourself. a really good source. This is good. I like it. We it's, tested them all. It's thin. Yep. It's strong. It's silicone. Um, you can see there's little markings. You can cut this, but of course, if you cut it, you know, you can cut it. You can solder to the strip because it's just LED strip on the inside. Um, but you'll have to recap it. We don't have the cap, so I you're think, on your own there. I think what you'll see, so a lot of, um, you know, in this ride share economy and this everyone's a Uber or Lyft driver or whatever, yeah. a lot of the cars, they, they put, now that NeoPixels have kind of come into um, the mainstream, um, I do see a lot of vehicles driving by with, like, strips. And you can see the individual yeah. LEDs. I think they'll start to move to this. This is way nicer, yeah. yeah, for for decorating. I mean, it's 12 volt, too, so you can just plug it into your, your car power supply. And it's LEDs. Yeah. There's no smarts in it. It's just a bunch of LEDs in a row. Um, you yep. can dim it with PWM, but yeah, you can't individually control the LEDs. They're all on. I'll just show the uh, the pink one. Maybe I'll hold it up, too, so you can see. Okay. Not on the overhead. Hold on. But yeah, you, it's they're very. these are super easy to use. And, uh, yeah, no soldering required, so you can I'll, see uh, here. I'll, let me get off this. Uh, I just want to show what it's like in daytime, because it's, it's quite bright, yeah. okay. even okay. in uh, in daytime. Yeah. It looks yeah. like neon. Yeah. And I think we've seen signs in New York that use this stuff. So it comes in a bunch of different colors. If you'll like it, we'll yeah. get it. Uh, but anything is like, you, you know, you'll there's a lot of things that you see neon with like oh you wanted to make that like umbrella that lights up like there's a lot of like cool things that you can do with this you can now do and you don't have to yeah. worry about the glass or you don't have to worry about like neopixel and you're trying to silicone it this yeah. is so nicely diffused it looks it basically looks uh, completely um solid yeah. like if you look really carefully you can see little hot spots but you barely like you need to yep. really look at okay. it so um multiple colors and we also have that wonderful color picker in the store now so you can grab some of okay. these as well. Next up to start the show tonight besides you are these two products. Data these are LEDs. actually really ancient products, but people have been asking them, so we put them in the store. We've had LED backpacks for a long time for seven segment and 14 segment displays. And people have been asking, can I buy them separately? And I've been like, well, you know, you're, you're gonna have to supply the right seven segment or 14 segment display <laughs> that goes with it. But we do stock them in the store. So I thought, yeah, let's put them in the store. Because uh, we had like, you know, four or five people oh, have so been asking. this one and then there's this one. Yeah, they look very similar, but I'll show them on the overhead to show you the difference. One 
is a, um, this is with uh, the display attached. So you, you only get this part and you supply this part. Um, and we sell them in the store. So I, I recommend getting the ones from Adafruit. Um, if you get ones from elsewhere, they may not have the same pinout. They may not work. And once they're soldered on, it's really hard to remove them. So just be really careful. Yeah, I'll say this. I remember someone had a meltdown because they they bought our backpacks and they got the the, L the, the LCDs from someplace else. And it was like the worst thing that ever happened in their life. It was like, well, it was like a garbage display. It was like, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, you these saved, are the ones that we tested. You saved like 50 cents and then you lost an entire yeah, day. No, I think them. they even cost more too. That's yeah, terrible. It was all bad news. This is bad news. So I put lots of warnings on, on the pages for these, but um, you can put in a seven segment and it gives you I squared C output. We've got drivers in Arduino and CircuitPython and Python for these. So, um, and they're very popular, the HT16K33s. And then this is for a alphanumeric segments. This one has them soldered in and clipped. So again, you would provide um, the displays. We just give you the backpack that's soldered and assembled. And um, you can set the I2C address. You can have up to eight of these. And then if you use a multiplexer, of course, you can have you know as many as you want. So those are the two backpacks, seven segment and uh, alphanumeric segment, quad. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada. That's the news.